flower nerds, it's me. I'm just checking to see how you're all doing. Today we're going to be looking at the colour wheel and I think it would be a great idea to get involved with your kids or a great beginners video to help you learn about your colour and how it can fit into your paintings and what colour is right for you. Here we have our primary colours, we have red, blue and of course yellow. These are our three primary source colours and now I'm going to show you what happens when we blend these three colours together. So I'll start with the red and the yellow and I'm just going to mess this up and I'm just going to blend these two together and as you can see we can see that an orange tone is about to develop. Now the orange is a secondary colour and there are two other secondary colours to follow from this. So after we've done blending the red and the yellow together, we're then going to look at blending the yellow and the blue together. So I am now beginning to blend these two colours together and show us how we get a beautiful orange tone. It's really important to show children and yourself a colour this these colours at a young age as it helps you develop on sensory elements and your environment around you and how colours can impact your everyday and how important colour is in our study. So I've just added a bit more yellow and I'm going to blend this in with the blue and I'm just going to mix it all up and then the day it doesn't have to be neat you just can experiment with any colours you can achieve. Here I've almost achieved an, an aqua blue slowly develop into a really dark green colour. I added quite a lot of blue into this, especially developing this from a very light yellow and a very dark blue. We're going to have a very bright outcome here. And I'm just blending this in. Please make sure you clean your brush. I've been a little bit lazy and I haven't done this and if some red gets into it you might get a bit of a brown black colour. Now I'm blending the red and the blue together and I'm hopefully going to get a purple colour. Now, orange, green and purple are your secondary colours and it's a really good idea to get yourself familiar with these, um, adding them into tone and texture pieces and how this can impact your piece in future developments. So I'm just blending this in a bit more with some more red and just taking my time even though it looks a little bit messy but you can see as how um here i'm using acrylic paint and you can see as the acrylic is drying it's coming a little bit lighter a bit more apparent what the tones i'm wanting to achieve here and the colors and very shortly after this i'm going to introduce you to warm and cold colors so here we have purple and I am blending this into all the other colours. So here, I'm dividing the colour wheel into warm and cold colours. As you can see here, from purple all the way to red, they're the warm colours. And on the other side, we have the cold colours. So from a very dark purple all the way to a very light green, there's your cold colours. And from a dark purple to yellow, they're your warm colours. So I'm just blending these in so I can show you a few more of the different colours that go in with um, cold and warm colours. There are other aspects of the colour we can explore. Complementary colours and you can even look into blending in some more colours from the secondary colours you've made. So for example purple and green will give you a very dark brown colour and it's actually better to use them colours instead of a black acrylic. It's more natural and looks so much better and unbelievably subtle when you're using these colours. So the green is mixed in with a bit more blue. It's more of a turquoise that I've made here. So if you want to make that a bit lighter, add a bit more yellow. A clear example of the colour wheel. Some other examples are complementary colours. So blue and blue violet to yellow orange would be a complementary colour and and uh, analogous colours are colours that go together so for example blue green to green would be an example.
like to show you some fun ways on how you can teach yourself and your kids how to have a really fun time with mixing paints and learning in a really fun way. So here I've got a clear plastic bag and some paper and I'm just going to insert it in the bag. Now this is a really good way to limit mess and still have a great time mixing and blending colours without a brush and just naturally blending the colours to see how they go together. So I've got a piece of paper and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some uh, red acrylic and then I'm going to add some yellow acrylic just squeeze it out of the bottle here there are only really small amounts that you need in the bag as um, they'll flow really nicely I recommend that you get some uh, ready mixed paint as this is uh, available and non-toxic and more suitable for children I've got some ready mixed paint here which is the white so you have a little bit more of a lighter outcome now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert this into the plastic bag please be careful uh, with mess and please supervise children if you are having go with children make sure you seal the bag real, real tight so no paint goes out or at least a minimal messy outcome for you to clean up and I'm making sure that the bag is all sealed and literally just spread it out and just have lots of fun blending. This is a great way to teach kids how warm colours blend and uh, to teach yourself um, many different ways of how to blend colours in and how you can use this into your work. Now I saw this on a, a Facebook hack and I just thought I really had to have a go at it. I really enjoyed it and recommend this is a really good hack to use. So here's my outcome here, the red, orange and yellow outcome. The ready makes white paints done a great job in helping me blend these colours together. And I'm just going to slide my fingers backwards and forwards into this so the colours blend up really nicely together. And as you can see there is next to no mess for a great outcome. So here's another um, hack that I saw on Facebook that I knew I definitely had to go at. So I got myself um, a rainbow palette of Skittles slash uh, M&Ms and I think this is a great way again to teach kids um, a really fun way on your colour palette and I literally put them in some water and just watch them blend. Check out my time lapse. Here I'm going to be painting with bubbles so I mix in some acrylic paint with water and liquid soap and I blow into a straw and blow lots and lots of bubbles and I'm looking for a positive and negative outcome. Now you can do this with as many colours as you like but do it one at once. Here look at my results. I'm going to be drawing over my surfaces that I've made. I thought it would be a great idea to use shadows and reflect over the colours that I've made, especially my warm ones. Here, check out what I've been doing. So Flowerness, I hope you learned a few things. Hope to see you soon. Okay, remember, Lottie loves you baby and stay safe.